Thank you very much, Sebastian. Indeed, the Council meeting has just uh, ended. It started with the uh, agency steering board, but will not comment on, on that. You will hear more from, from Claude France. Um, but then, then uh, it continued as a, as a regular council. But in a way, the uh, events in Eastern Europe were uh, present all the time. It was the, the important backdrop against which the whole discussion uh, um, uh, took place. And I'll, I'll, I'll come back to that in a, in a second. Um, on the Council's agenda, there were uh, three major uh, issues. One was the uh, uh, ongoing work on the uh, EU maritime security strategy, which was mandated by the European Council last December. Overall, very positive reaction uh, by, by member states. Everybody's looking forward to a multi-dimensional uh, policy framework to be adopted by, uh, by June. Uh, which is, uh, I mean, the work is well, uh, well advanced, uh, on track, so I don't expect any, any delays here. Um, there was a discussion, uh, the second agenda item was the Central African Republic, in particular the deployment of the uh, European Union CSDP Operation New for Car. The ministers were briefed by the, uh, by the operations commander, General uh, Poitier, um, and uh, we are still... Uh, um, I mean, you know that the mission uh, was launched, the operation was launched, but we still need to step up efforts to, uh, to be able to reach uh, first the initial and then full operational uh, capability uh, of, the, of the mission, which means uh, additional commitments by member states. And there was this understanding that it needs to be done, not only because the situation on the ground is getting worse by the day, with ongoing uh, violence and, and in particular um, um, in particular um, sectarian uh, violence in, in the country, but also because of the European Union's uh, uh, credibility. So this uh, the HR, the High Representative, uh, repeated a very strong appeal, which is formulated before, to the member states to deliver the necessary forces. And I'll not go into details because uh, General De Rosier will certainly uh, comment, uh, comment on um, on, on that. And uh, um, the lunch discussion took place in presence of the uh, Secretary General of, of NATO, Anders Fogh Rasmussen, and was very much focused on not only on the ongoing events in Ukraine, but on the impact these events have uh, on European defense policy in general, both at NATO and uh, within the context of the European uh, Union. And I think there was there was consensus around the table that defense matters more than ever, that uh, the transatlantic community needs to maintain its unity and, uh, and really um, uh, send a very uh, coherent message uh, to Russia. And uh, then we need to get real when we talk about security and defense policy, both in terms of defense spending. And it's not only a problem of NATO, it's a problem of all um, of the transatlantic community. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a challenge to all member states to maintain a credible level of defense spending and to realize, to accept the fact that defense is not God-given. It's not a luxury. And it needs a commitment and it needs investment. And I think that was recognized, clearly recognized by, by everybody. As Cathy, has, uh, Cathy Ashton has put it, uh, if Ukraine uh, was not a trigger to get serious about defense spending, about pooling and sharing, about smart defense, what else do you need to get real? So um, I think everybody, everybody agrees, uh, agrees on that. And everybody agrees on the need for more EU and NATO cooperation on, on security um, and defense both in terms of capa ca um, capacity development and in terms of um, operational engagement wherever, uh, wherever needed. So this was the, the overall, um, uh, I would say, tonality of the, uh, of the, of the discussion. Uh, the Council um, uh, today also took uh, a decision to, uh, first of all, prolong the EU training mission in Mali. It's been ongoing for, for some time, but it will be prolonged by two years and, and will continue uh, providing training to, to
to the Malian army, and as a complement on that, a uh, decision was taken to launch a civilian mission, UCAP Mali, a civilian capacity building mission uh, targeting the civilian security agencies, the police, the gendarmerie, the Garde Nationale, that would complement the work that we have been doing uh, in, the, um, in the area of, uh, of, of uh, military capacity building uh, in, the, uh, in the country. Thank you.